Hello, my sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to share an updated Hutch video. I decorated this a couple months back and I didn't film it, but it is filled with so many of my antiques and thrifted treasures, items from the Goodwill. Just a lot of things that I have hauled over the past couple of months are stowed away in here. And I really wanted to share them with you, show you some ways that you can style your own hutch, or maybe you have open shelving in your house and you're just looking for some different ways to decorate. So yeah, I hope this video gives you some inspo and gives you that itch to decorate a space in your own home. We're gonna get into it. I will share everything behind me and of course try to share where everything is from. Most of it you will probably recognize from a lot of my haul videos. So if you're new here, like I said, hi, my name is Genevieve. I love farmhouse decor and mixing in antiques and vintage pieces into my home decor. I like a little bit of old and new. I love Hobby Lobby and Target, so I just like to splash in some antiques here and there. I got this hutch off of Facebook Marketplace. I had my husband and his brother and um, his brother's fiance and I, we all drove way too far, like almost two hours to go get this hutch off Facebook Marketplace and I don't regret it one bit. Although the boys definitely did not like me that night. <laughs> <laughs> it is a huge piece. It holds so much stuff and I'm obsessed with it. So I definitely recommend if you are looking for a piece of furniture, do not just buy something on a whim. Definitely hold out to find a piece that you truly love because I am so glad that I waited to find something like this. So my favorite part about this hutch is that you can just slide the doors. They're a little, it's a little tight in here because I have a lot of stuff going on but the doors just slide beautifully and the glass front they are just gorgeous but we are gonna go through each little level of the shelves here so most of my items here are thrifted or facebook marketplace finds so i do apologize that i can't link a lot of things that i use to decorate there are some things like those wicker baskets are from Target and this plant is from Target as well, but I highly encourage you guys to head to a thrift store, head to an antique store to try to curate a collection of decor that you love and just go with like the same kind of palette and you can really mix together so many different styles. So for this top shelf here, I got the candlesticks at the Goodwill. I got the cloche at the Goodwill. Actually, both of the cloches are from the Goodwill. The sign is also from the Goodwill. However, it was from Michael's. I looked for that sign for the longest time and then finally found it on a whim at the Goodwill. I could not even believe it. <laughs> um, the little cups here were part of Hobby Lobby's 75% off sale and I love them. The hobnail detail is so beautiful. I love them styled in my hutch for summer. They're just so summery and just an easy way to stack some dishes and decorate. And then this is that Dundee marmalade jar that I shared in one of my hauls. I am on the hunt for so many more of them. I will be collecting them probably all of my life. I love them. <laughs> I scored that one for only $20 on Facebook Marketplace. And if you know, you know, those are very expensive jars. So what a steal, gotta love Facebook Marketplace. On this next shelf down below, I have a beautiful scale. That was a Facebook find. The baskets are Target. I have a set of three wooden cutting boards back here. They're actually blocking a huge crack in my hutch. Let's see if I can move this. <laughs> There's a huge crack back there. Um, maybe one day I'll redo like the paneling on the back here, but the, um, oh my God, I'm about to drop all of these. The cutting boards do a pretty good job at hiding the imperfections. 
And then I decided to put all of my wooden spoons, different wooden tools into these clear jars. And I love how they look. I have like my butter paddles, some mashers, an old mixer. And then these are just a bunch of wooden spoons that I've collected from the Goodwill over the past couple of months. This was in a haul recently, this gorgeous little wooden butter paddle. I'm obsessed with that. And then as far as the lids to those canisters, I just have them in a basket down here with some chunky restaurant wear, like thick rimmed mugs. I am obsessed with those kind of mugs. So they're all stacked there in a basket. I decided on a whim one day to just throw dishes into a basket like that and I absolutely love it. It's so much better than like just hanging them on a mug tree or stacking them in a hutch. I think it just gives it a lot more character. So go pick up a black wire basket if you need something to hold a bunch of your dishes. And then I just have a little black cutting board behind this. Uh, cake stand with a cloche that's from I want to say like home goods or Marshalls the plant is Target Studio McGee and then the books are either yard sale finds or thrift store finds I know a couple of these really chunky ones I shared in a haul I actually think I shared most of them in a haul but these chunky ones that are like really aged looking I got at a yard sale on like a super score so I absolutely love them and then I did share this beautiful book with you guys in a yard sale haul or in a thrifted haul in the past this was one of my favorite treasures I got this at a yard sale and it has like notes in it and tried flowers this is just such a treasure I was so thrilled to find that I also wanted to share that a lot of people ask me why I keep my books facing this way and not with the bindings. And I just don't always love what the bindings say, but I love the color of the book. So I flip them around and that's just the way that I like to style mine. <laughs> okay, so on the other side, the top shelf, we've got a couple different things decorated in here and also, don't worry, I'm going to share the top of the hutch as well with you guys. I know that's a spot that I struggle to decorate a lot, so I will be sharing that with you guys as well. But we have this vase over here. This was actually a vase that I did a tutorial on. I have that on my channel. It's a DIY aged vase tutorial. So that I did from a Goodwill vase. And then these gorgeous tulips. They're gonna have to come out soon because it's almost the end of summer. But these are from Amazon. They came in a bundle of 20. They look so real. They're so beautiful. And then next up, I got these baskets at the Dollar General. I shared a Dollar General video recently on my channel. And these big baskets are so great for home decor and decorating. You can just throw so much stuff in there and make it like like a vignette almost inside of the basket. So I just have a bunch of dishcloths in patterns that I love. We've got another one here in a different color. A couple different cutting boards that I've thrifted stuck back there. That little Hobby Lobby egg holder these little glass jar things. Let me see. Um, I thrifted these quite a while ago. They're anchor hawking, like just little clear dishes. And putting them in a basket like that is just a way to like collect a bunch of items that are kind of hard to style. So got that basket at Dollar General. And then this is just a cake stand with a cloche that I picked up at the Goodwill one day. Since I do have quite a few knickknacks going on, <laughs> quite a few, um, the hutch is full of little knickknacks and all of that. I wanted a shelf that was simple, 
it didn't have like a bunch of stuff on it. So I went with these books. They are thrifted, yard sale finds, thrift store finds. Honestly, none of them are antique store finds because they're expensive at the antique store. I highly recommend maybe you get a couple from an antique store and then try to thrift to the rest, but books can be like $10 plus a piece at an antique store. So I thrift mine. Um, for example, this looks like something you would pay probably $25 for at an antique store. I got mine at the Goodwill for $1 one day. So I like when they are all like tattered up like this. I think it gives it a lot of character. So the binding is literally falling apart. Which is what I like. So yes, this shelf just has a bunch of books on it. Keep it nice and simple. And also something that I do, I have books on this level. So I try to go diagonal and have books on the diagonal level. This bottom left side might be one of my favorites. This is quite a few different ironstone restaurant wear style pieces. So once again, like I said, with the black wire baskets, it's just another way to put a bunch of dishes in there that you don't wanna like just set out on a shelf. You know, like you wanna try to make it look a little bit different. So that's why I put them in the basket with some little tea towels underneath. This was a set that I got off the Facebook Marketplace for so cheap, if you remember seeing that video. So that is a beautiful ironstone set. Um, I think this is like Johnson Bros ironstone. I, I don't wanna pull it all out, but very, very pretty set. Then I've got my recently antique hauled um, scale here. I love this beauty. She is so pretty. These were recently thrifted. I got those at the Goodwill. I've got my cutting boards that I absolutely cherish. They are from Home Goods. I found the matching set of those one day, honestly, like two years ago. And then these I got at Habitat for Humanity, these dishes. Let me pull this down real quick. These dishes I shared in a haul. They are Homer Laughlin China. Every single one of them stacked here is Homer Laughlin China. And I love them. I got them for so cheap at the Habitat for Humanity. And then I just have a mason jar. This is just literally from a pack of mason jars at Walmart that I actually use for like overnight oats and stuff. I just grabbed one out of my kitchen and I put all of my gorgeous register tags in here. Kind of like a little floral arrangement. I love my register tags. I need to find more of them. They are my pride and joy, so. I love that little shelf. This is probably like my favorite area. I just love how everything came together over here. And then I'm gonna show you the top shelf. <laughs> I don't know if I ever shared this box with you guys, but I got this at an antique store and it's huge. I keep it on top of my hutch, obviously, but I have this really cute bowl that I got on Facebook Marketplace. I have like a little tray up there so that you can kind of see it when you're like in the dining room. But I saw this wooden box and I immediately fell in love with it because first of all, like I love like bakery signs and anything like baking. So when it said property of General Baking Co, I was sold. And then it says Bond Donuts on the side. Yes, there's a little piece of styrofoam keeping that up. You gotta do what you gotta do. But if you didn't know, like Nick and I love donuts. We had donuts at our wedding um, instead of a wedding cake. So donuts are like our thing. And once I saw that, I knew that I had to have this. I think I got it for like $45 at an antique store and I love it. Moving on over, I have two Crocs here. Um, this is where all of my rolling pins are for the most part. I have a couple more scattered around the house, but I keep a lot of them up here. We've got a wooden butter paddle as well. Just a huge variety of rolling pins that I have 
thrifted and antiqued over the years. I do want to paint the ones with red handles a different color because I am just not a red gal, but one day I will get around to that. So a crock full of rolling pins is definitely a way that you can take up a lot of space on the top of your hutch if you are struggling to decorate up here like I am. <laughs> Moving on over, I have a set of three cake stands that I stacked all together. They are three separate pieces. Um, the bottom one is from the Goodwill, but the other two are from Home Goods. If you are looking for cake stands, Home Goods is the place to go. They have so many beautiful white dishes there. Every time I go, even Marshalls and TJ Maxx, if you don't have a Home Goods near you, so. That is where I got the top two. And then on the end here, I have a bunch of creamy bowls and creamy dishes. I've got some pitchers on the end as well, some chunky mugs with chunky handles, this set of three bowls in here. And I just stuck it inside this beautiful basket that I got at Home Goods. I actually had this listed on Facebook Marketplace for the longest time and no one bought it. And I am so glad. I don't know why I was going to sell this. It's a beautiful gray wire basket. But like I said, I love sticking dishes in baskets. It just is such a way to elevate the way you style dishes. And you can kind of put a lot together in one little vignette and style them. So... I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Gave you a little glimpse at some styling in my dining room. My dining room is my favorite place to decorate because I just gravitate towards like all kitchen items. Dishes, rolling pins. I just love dishes. Anybody else? Clearly, I'm obsessed. Dishes, wooden tools. I could buy them forever. <laughs> If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will consider hitting the subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.